Yeah, get that bite. Get that bite. It's so hot. <laughs> get it. <laughs> Hi, Timmy will be working on Sir Godsworth, the Focus Rally project. Waiting on parts on the MR2 still. I'm gonna start working on that this weekend. If you guys missed that video or you're new, there's a video up above my head that will get you caught up on when I started hating life and this MR2. I'm just joking. I'll get this thing sorted. There we go. The one running project car I have right now, Sir Codsworth. I just got like re-inspired to work on this Focus after I did the review of that Raptor and just played around the dirt all day with that thing. Yeah, buddy, that's a huge jump. I just, I want to build this rally car so bad now. I'm gonna crank the AC. Ugh, I started the AC and there's sh in the vents. Ugh. So this may not directly help the car do better at rally, but it, yeah, I guess it will if it's nighttime. <laughs> Focus SVTs in the States came with these black housing halogen headlights, or if you got the EAP package, it came with the chrome projector headlight housing ones. These ones are in such crap shape. I could try to sand them and re-clear coat and make them look good, but someone had already taken them apart and resealed it and done a poor job at it. So it just made more sense to replace them with a set of European spec ones. See a little amber in the corner? That replaces the amber that was in the grill on the US spec car. This old thing. Listen to that. That just sounds like old. Come on, connector. Old junk. The EU spec headlights use this style plug. It's actually a Volkswagen Audi part. And the American spec Focus SVT uses this little weird round square doodad. Thankfully, I have some skills in the wiring department. So I ordered two pigtails from Amazon. They'll be here on Saturday. They're 20 bucks. And then I'll be able to plug and play my factory EU spec headlights. Just discovered my new headlights are broken. Right here is supposed to be a little plastic connector that attaches this doodad to that doodad and keeps the headlight in place. I know this is a rally car and I'm gonna take it in the dirt and get it completely filthy, but while I have the headlights off, I wanna clean the transmission in the front half of the engine and get it nice and spotless. That way in case there is any oil leaks, it'll be easy to find them. I'm driving the car with the hood up because I'm gangster like that. You see right here on the front half of the engine, there's some oil residue. I think that's just from when the transmission was serviced or maybe it vented out of that cap right there. But just in case, I wanna get it nice and clean. I cover the transmission in some etching mag wheel cleaner, try to clean that aluminum up and then everything I went over with just a regular degreaser. I found a lot of dirt and grease that was over here by the fuel rail. So I don't know if anything was leaking back here or if it was just a buildup. I blasted away a lot of that paint that was eaten away by the old battery acid. Eventually I'd like to be able to pull the engine and paint the bay on this thing, but uh, that's why I need a shop. So I need a shop and a crew. Anybody watching this right now that's a crew that would like to adopt me, I will move to you. Holy crap, I found a teeter tot. Hello, teeter tot. Look at that. It's a little teeter tot. Oh, it's so cute. That one's in good shape. It's a front wheel drive though. Oh. Hello. It's the next day and I have some safety wire. I'm gonna show you a little trick, something I learned in the Air Force. I don't have safety wire pliers, but I'm still gonna make it work. All right, so what I'm going to do I'm gonna take the safety wire and the two broken halves I have inside the headlight, I'm going to tie them with safety wire nice and tight because this can withstand heat and it's really strong too. This one's 14 pound test. I think that's what you say. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna loop the safety wire around that little black plastic thing with the screw attached to it and then I'm gonna loop the safety wire around this little plastic ball right here. These are the two different halves of the headlight that are supposed to be joined. 
and then I'm going to tie this nice and tight which will hold these two pieces together okay now there you go I have a nice tight braid in there now I just need to join it up against that little knob oh man The second one I did, the nice straight one, I think that's even better because now, like if I push, oh yeah, there's no play in that chrome bucket. I just bought some brand new OEM Sylvania halogen bulbs because I'm going to have off-road rally pod lighting on the front of the car and these are not projector headlights, so I'm just gonna keep a halogen bulb in there, what it's designed to have. I won't be able to light these things up until I get those pigtails, but at least I can get the headlights on the car. There's still a lot of sound deadening material to remove inside this car, so I need to get a bunch of dry ice and like a crew of people and we can just pound it out. It's effing hot in this potato shack. It's like really hot. Oh, come on car. There we go. Whew, let's crank that AC. It's a different style bulb on the EU one, so... I have that to contend with. It's okay. keep telling myself this is a race car not a restoration start car I just put headlights on it and I'm already amped. I gotta put this circuit breaker on before I drive this thing. My clutch pedal needs to be adjusted. It's uh, actually really hard to get the car to start. Like I have to push the pedal way, way down for it to engage. It looks so much better. Now I just gotta get a vinyl wrap on here and some a lift kit and some suspension and some skid plates and some off-road lights and a snorkel and racing seats and a roll cage. <laughs> I don't have any big fancy sponsors for this rally project, so literally everything I do is gonna be homemade fabrication and just like backyard built. I don't care, I'm excited. A little bit? Yeah, it's like, it's it's not as heavy as I thought it was once it's like out. There. Okay. I know it wasn't that heavy when he helped me do it. <laughs> now it feels heavier. That was, that's what I was about to say. I was like, are you sure you said? Maybe because it was a man? <laughs> like, I didn't think it was that bad when we were doing it. Grab from here. Because all the weight is down here. Yeah. There. I don't know how we did that. I don't either. Tomorrow, I'm getting to business on the MR2. I'm going to fix these oil leaks with this hoist. And right now, I'm going to finish this battery relocation. 100% with the addition of my circuit breaker. I need to cut it right at the five right here on 105. So in the, the last video I did on the Focus, when I was in the battery location, one of you suggested I use garden shears to cut the one gauge wire. Luckily I got a pair. Heck yeah dude, that works. Probably won't cut a tree branch for crap anymore, but and like that, a wire was born. I like making wires. I time traveled an hour into the future for you so you would have to watch me crimp wire because that's kind of boring. So I'm just doing the very last one and it's almost done. Yeah, buddy. Check that out. 
I got my little breaker mounted on the side. And then all I gotta do is I gotta get a boot, a tiny little boot for these two. But other than that, it's all mounted up. And then my ground goes all the way down over there. It's kind of long, but I'm gonna leave it for now until I put a cage in here because I might have to trim or move the ground wire up. So I'm gonna leave the excess for now. And then I have my power wire going from this kill switch all the way through the center tunnel. I'm gonna put the boots back on there. Um, and then it's attached right here. And it runs up alongside right over there. This thing is legit now, I can drive it. I'm probably gonna put some license plates on it next week since it's uh, the battery thing is taken care of. Yay! Yay, yay! Yay, yo! Oh. I had to do this. I had to drive this car. It has no headlights and it's almost dark out, but I took a dirt road, so I'm good. I like the chrome headlights better than the black housing ones, it gives it a face. Okay, I get the car back before it gets dark out since my headlights don't work right now. Don't worry, I'm not driving on public roads. Such a pretty sunset. Hmm. Do you want a big bark? I think these are yours anyway. So, so much better. Stock is the new modified. I'm following the small Sarah to a body shop because she is getting a new rear lower balance on her back bumper that is a replica of the prior generation Focus RS rear balance has like the big diffuser in the center it actually looks really nice because hers is slightly cracked yeah get that bite get that bite it's so hot <laughs> get it <laughs> it's the next morning I was gonna just make this video in the two days that was in this video but I didn't make the end of the video last night so this morning we're starting uh, the job on the MR2. We're gonna change the oil pump on that and I'm gonna address the oil cooler leak also. So this is like a start of another video, but it's the end of this video. Yay, Inception. Videoception. <laughs> Videoception. That looks like an undercover cop, but it's not. It's just a lady driving really fast through a parking lot in a charger. I'm putting this whole clip in the end of this video. I'm gonna awkwardly eat my food. <clears throat> I have food that I'm waiting to eat. But she wanted to talk to you first. <laughs> I'm like swallowing spit right now because I'm so hungry and her sandwich smells so good. Mm. Okay, but anyway, I just figured in the video like this and I will see you guys soon with the video that we're about to start. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Bye.